Having a multicultural background, it enables me to stay connected with my homeland. It shaped the person who I am today. How I feel most connected to Malaysia is really through the little things. So when we go back to visit, the humidity, it just makes me feel at home. Just seeing all the chichok or geckos around and also just staying with my family. I feel really strongly connected to family and I really love the food there so I always look forward to tasting the food and meeting family because I never usually get to see them. I feel connected to Russia because I've been there a couple of times and I went to school there for six months. I'm Indigenous so we have a belief that we don't own the land, the land owns us and it's kind of a supportive figure in my life and I just feel connected whenever I'm being myself in a serene place or time. A long time ago, like, my grandma, like, she told my mum about these very Japanese-style olden day songs. My mum loves to sing them all the time. The things that make me feel connected to India is the food. Food is like the meaning of India. Yeah, it's the, the spices, epicenter of the sweets, the yumminess. Oh, it makes me hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too fond of potatoes here, but where my dad comes from, I really like to eat them. And I even like to take some of my parents' plates because they're that yummy. My mum's family used to make sauces back in Italy, and they've carried that tradition down to us, and we get together as a family and we make sauces. I love the Napoli sauce. There are lots of celebrations in Greece, but one of my favorites is Easter Saturday because we get to stay up until midnight and go to church. We light a candle, and we go home, have a big feast with my family, and then we crack red dyed eggs. It's really fun. Well, we have the hard boiled eggs, which the next day, if we have any extras, we crack on our heads and who's cracks first loses and has to go into the egg salad. Being Australian, a big part of that is the AFL and my family and generations, generations, generations have either played or watched or basically just loved AFL and that's definitely a, a huge part of what we celebrate in my house. My father's mother was born in Imceda, which is located in Malta. I've been to Imceda myself before. I've seen where they grew up and that's why it was a bit of an eye opener because I got to understand how they grew up and I also understood why they moved from Malta to Australia. When I personally went to Poland, I really felt, it's kind of weird, it felt like, it felt like home. My grandpa um, unfortunately passed away about three, four weeks before. Dad was showing me around all these places and I just felt like seeing those things, I can just picture like what it would have been like at that time and how rough those times would have been. 